Japón, la charanga del norte. It is an authentic British charanga. She's here. Welcome her, please. Miss Sue Miller. Thank you. I'm missing the Queen's birthday. How good is that? Oh, well. We want to hear more of that British accent, right?
concept of charanga was great when I was a kid growing up here in New York. Then it seemed to fade out because people foolishly thought it was old fashioned, it wasn't salsa, which was idiotic. So I started to explore other countries playing Cuban music. <laughs> and I'm going through England and I come across Charanga del Norte. England of all places. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and it's run by this lady here named Sue Miller. Sue Miller. Uh, Leeds, in, uh, Leeds is north of London, so it's uh, Charanga del Norte. And she sat in with us tonight at, uh, here at SRVs and just blew the roof off. So why don't you tell him how you got a Charanga in England? I mean, well, we had the Casa Latina, which was a nightclub, and we had visiting bands from America, from Cuba, so I saw them all, and I really liked Eddie Palmieri's music, and then I heard Cachao's Mambo, and as soon as I heard Richard Egues off record, that I bought a record off a Cuban singer, that was it, that was it, that was it. I started my charanga, I went to Cuba, found Richard Egues, went to study with him, transcribed everything off record, arranged it, Organized the band well, and, um, yeah, I didn't know that, yeah. but uh, she named Richard Egues. Now, Richard Egues was the most famous flutist with the uh, Orchestra Aragon, which is well, from Aragon, all yes, over. Yes, but they've been, Aragon, they've been in, okay, everywhere. All the, pre the, the, the premier uh, charanga bands in Cuba. Yeah. Uh, uh, and so Egues is very, I very good performer. And she studied with the best. Uh, Yet yeah, it was a relative of his that got Eddie Zervigon to play the flute. Um, it was his father, Richard Egues' father right. actually taught Richard and also taught Eddie Zerbion. Eddie Zerbion, so, the Broadway. Well, Broadway. So it all comes yeah, together. Yeah. She uh, studied yeah. with the son. I studied with Richard Egues. Richard Egues. Father the or famous, son? Uh, Eduardo, well they both called Eduardo, but okay. the 18, late 1800s right. is when... Uh, Heavy though, so that, it's, it's like come full circle. So definitely, she's here in New definitely, York. Definitely. And I said, why don't you sit in with Chalanga Soleil? Well, I got to tell you, you're gonna. I think you're going to love the videos that I uh, <laughs> that I have of you playing with uh, Charanga Soleil. Oh, it sounds beautiful, it. really, really nice. I have and, to put them up on our website. So what's, what is the reception? In the, I mean, in France it would be different. You hear a lot of West Africans. But how does Charanga play in London? Well, I avoid London actually. You do? Um, I'm sorry. I've done, I've done, well, we've done gigs in London, but we've done tours, we've done arts council tours from Scotland right down to Cornwall, and a lot of arts centres and theatres. So what I do is I've got a Cuban dancer called Guillermo Davis Eliawo, and he shows the dance steps for Danzon, Cha 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 Changa while we play them. But he also goes into the crowd and gets them to do the conga and dancing right. and stuff. So we animate it like that. And in the theatres I tell people what the what the words mean, like Ay que frío, um, busco un muchacho para casarme. Right. Es frío que me está pasando. You know, it's like I need a man to marry just to keep me warm. Yeah. Like, you know, so I make a joke and I, I teach people about the song and the style, but in a fun way. So it gives them a way in because, you know, most people right. don't speak Spanish. Well, she was able to pull something off. How many CDs do you have out? Um, well, Actually, that was going to be my next my two, question right there. Th th done quite a few short recordings, but we've got the best of Chiranga del Monte, Sapo Guapo, which is live. And then I've just done two CDs, which are more like my PhD recordings, Our Mam in Havana and Look Back in Chiranga. But you put out a CD of just done songs. Um, it was really an EP of Danzon in 2001, I think. Right. Yeah. And to get away with that, you know, because uh, I remember when Machito told me, and Orchestra Broadway told me years ago, when things changed in this city, everything was salsa, they were told they weren't playing salsa. And if Broadway got a gig, they would tell them not to play a dance song. Well, there are salsa clubs, and in the salsa clubs, they don't really like you to play dance song. Unfortunately, I, I unfortunately. Joke, yeah, yeah, I think yeah. it's foolish. It is. Well, so, I, I joke well, I think that DJ that I do a whole set of dance songs. The movie, when I visit the social club, opened a lot of doors and opened a lot of minds. You know, so we do that song, we do As Time Goes By from Casablanca. Oh, it's beautiful. It goes into this Guajira. But you get different yeah. venues, because I go to theatres and arts, arts centres and big music venues, so we supported Eliades Ochoa and Bridgewater Hall. They've got a grand Steinway grand. So when we play the dance on, it's really popular because we had a really good piano player did beautiful solos. And when I've done theatre gigs, people come up and say, oh, what was that number? Oh, it's Isora Club or La Zoran, and it's like, that's beautiful. So, you know, it depends. The South Club's are going to play them sort of more fun.
fans yeah. to kind of yeah, dance yeah. stuff. But you know, <laughs> if you move out to other but venues, I, festivals, I, you can do a mixture. I, I, you know what's beautiful? This, I, just one point. I mentioned this to Eddie Zerby Dunn, the flutist and founder right, of right, Orchestra right, right, Broadway. Right. It was 50 years this summer at Lincoln Center. Yes, yes. All right. And Eddie, shout out to you, my friend. <laughs> and he told me, he said, I said, I want to end the set with a Don Sony. He says, don't do it. But he says, Angelotto, in 1971, I was in Senegal, Africa, and I could have played Fafita, the Don Sony, for four hours. And the Africans and they would have loved it. They would have loved it. You know, it's funny. I was going to say, uh, you know, the, uh, Charanga begins in Europe. I mean, you know, that's the oh, beginning of it. Well, and the ensemble came out of Haiti. Haiti, but, but originally, the, the, you know, down. yeah. Okay, yeah, you know, down, yeah. You know, exactly. And here we go back to to Europe, to England. And here we have uh, Susan Miller, you know, and it's just like a full circuit thing, kind of, you know? Well, yeah. It's funny you bring that up. Now, Mozart wrote six country dances, very short. We're going to take one of them into an ensemble. Oh, and wonderful. He called it Country dances. He was paid to do it for some rich guy's party. Right. Six country dances. And when, it's short when, and beautiful. When can we look forward to this? As soon as we get in the studio and Hadel will finish the arrangements, because she and Willis uh, play a lot of Mozart when they wonderful. practice. So we're going to turn it into a dance on one right. of them. Uh, uh, Miss Mas, excuse me. <laughs> I guess I had too much wine there, right? <laughs> uh, Ms. Miller, I want to ask you, will you be coming back anytime soon to the States? Uh, I hope so. I mean, I have benefited from the generosity and hospitality of Eddie Zevigon twice because he invited me in 2007 to the Mammal Seal Festival. Okay. So I guess with Orchestra Broadway, where I met Al, for the first time having... She played with him at Mammal Seal in New Jersey. Oh, Mammal Seal, for there, Mammal Seal, And then yes. Eddie said, you're welcome anytime. And I had to go to San Francisco last week. And I thought, why not stay with Eddie on the way back? Because it's an awful long way. So I said, can I stay? And he went, yeah, of course, you're welcome anytime. So whether he'll say that again after I've stayed for a week. Oh, I'm sure you will. Um, rolled in drunk yeah. late at night. Well, listen, I want, I want to say thank you to you, uh, Miss Miller. Have a wonderful uh, trip back uh, to England. Have a wonderful tour of whatever's left. I don't know how many days you have left on your tour here. Uh, I want to thank you, Al. Well, thank you. Uh, we look so forward glad you, to... Uh, I'm so glad you came. Listen, I could, I was telling my wife here, you know, I was so excited, you know, because first of all, I never recorded at SOBs, and uh, Charanga, we are big Charanga lovers, I mean, oh, yeah. I used to be a band boy with Pupi Le Garreta. I'm playing with him tomorrow. Are you playing with Siglo Benka? I'm playing with Pupi really? Le Garreta. Really? Oh, man. Tell him tell him that Manny, tell him that Manny says hello, his first band boy back in the 70s. Manny. When Jesse Herrero from Sublime was his, uh, his lead singer. Man. Pardon me, I gotta get up. Wow. Pardon me. Okay. Well, I met Pupi in November in Philadelphia. No, I was at a conference oh, yeah? and I met Orlando Fiol, who's the son of Henry Fiol, who took right, me Henry Fiol, and, yes, yes. And, uh, took me to Pupi's house, so I met Pupi. Oh, and I started my triangle with some of Pupi's arrangements from his Tumi recording, right. Bevoy Pamaron. And Kikiriki, and my violinist had a, a dance, a chicken dance, to go with it. <laughs> so Pupi was instrumental, though he didn't know it, in the first steps of Charanga del Norte. So Wonderful, you know. Tomorrow I'm going to play with Pupi, hopefully. So give well. my regards, give my regards. Tell him it's Manny, first band boy. Manny, what's Manny his? Santiago. Manny Santiago. Yeah, last time I recorded was uh, Festival on 112th Street. What do you play? Uh, I'm sorry. What do you play? I know I'm a frustrated musician. <laughs> frustrated musician. Oh, that's frustrated all I <laughs> Thank you, Miss Melo. I appreciate your time. Well, it's and, uh, great. It's well, everything go well for you, and uh, we hope to see you again. Yeah, you will, because I'm obsessed with Chiranga. And, and hello, sure Leeds. I'm back. I'm upset. Okay, Al. <laughs> hello, Leeds, England. Hi, Leeds. <laughs> bye bye. Thank you. Thank you.